Why do you need external hard drives? It's best to have an external hard drive for several reasons. Firstly, to back up all your files from the laptop or PC to an external drive because it is always safer to keep a copy of all your work and correspondences and purchased software, apps and programs elsewhere. Secondly, you may run out of space to keep your files, software programs and games on your laptop. A large external hard drive will allow you to keep all your files should you run out of space on your internal drives because most internal drives especially the 2.5 inch drives don't have much hard disk space they are something like uh, the most i think is four terabytes but when you buy your laptop from the shop they only give you half or one or two terabyte hard drives because those are much cheaper so your pc laptop purchase is much lower cost of purchase is much lower uh, you can connect your large 3.5 inch sata hard drives by usb the connection can be usb 3 or usb c depending on your computer hardware did you notice how i had been struggling to open this three and a half inch external enclosure while i was talking to you it was really badly designed. After about an hour of struggling, I managed to open it and insert my 3.5 inch Toshiba 16 terabyte hard disk. But I could not close back the enclosure. It just could not be closed. Worse still, I was very afraid that if I forced the casing to be closed, it would jam up and lock my 3.5 inch hard disk inside. That would mean that my hard drive would be permanently locked inside. So I took it back to the shop and the sales staff had a lot of difficulty opening and closing the casing. That was when they changed the external enclosure to a different model. I couldn't even close it back without the hard drive inside the enclosure. Can you just imagine that? This is why I wanted to show you how to open an external HDD enclosure. I wanted to show you that not all enclosures are manufactured properly. So please do check out the hard drive enclosure as to whether you can easily open and close it to place your three and a half inch hard drive inside before purchasing it. Do check it out before purchasing it. The salesman at the shop replaced it with another model. This new model had a lock and unlock button so that once closed it can be locked that makes it impossible for your heavy three and a half inch hard drives from falling out when i unlocked the casing i could open up the enclosure and take my 16 terabyte hard drive out even though this enclosure is rated for 10 terabyte drives the salesman informed me that if i switched on the power supply first then switched on or plugged in the USB 3 cable, it would work for 16 terabyte and 18 terabyte drives. I will find out eventually over the next few months. You can observe the power switch on the extreme right, the, followed by the 12 volt 2 amp input, the USB connector, and the lock and unlock switch on the extreme left. The next thing to do is to test your hard drives within the casing. Power up your external hard drive and plug in the USB 3.0 cable.
then run crystal dismark to see how good the data transfer rate is. How fast is this Toshiba 16 terabyte hard drive connected through RSH Tech 7 port USB hub? According to Crystal Dismark, this hard drive has a data transfer rate better than 249 megabytes per second for read and write speeds of large files. That is pretty good. If Windows shows you data transfer speeds that is in the gigabytes for your hard drives, don't take it seriously as this may be just the data transfer rate between your Windows internal caches. If you get such figures when testing your hard drives, reboot your PC or laptop and try again and you will then see more realistic figures. I tested my Toshiba 16 terabyte external hard drive by copying 4.9 gigabyte files from this hard drive to a RAM disk. A RAM disk is a disk drive allocated within the RAM of the PC. That means it will operate as a super fast drive and will not slow down the file transfer rate of my hard drive. That will show me the fastest data transfer rate my external hard drive will give me. From the Crystal Disk Mark analysis, my RAM disk is anything between 27 to 46 times faster than my 16 terabyte hard drive. So it should not bottleneck or slow down file transfers from the Toshiba external hard drive. That means using the RAM disk would be a very good test of my Toshiba 16 terabyte external hard drive with a USB 3.0 connector. So after all that, I decided to retest it again. Here I rebooted my laptop to clear all the unwanted tasks and memory. I used a camera to videotape the process of copying five 0.985 gigabyte files, that is 4.9 gigabytes of data transfer. It took 26 seconds, which is an average data transfer rate of 200 megabytes per second. Then I used a screen capture program to record the transfer of the five files to RAM disk. It hit a ceiling of about 255, 255 megabytes per second and dropped to as low as 70 megabytes per second. Not bad, eh? To recap, I hope that you have learned that you need to check out your three and a half inch external hard drive enclosure yourself. Do not rely on the salesman to show you how easy it is. Because a lot of the times they don't know, either they haven't handled the, the packaging or they are just passing on the buck to you. In my case, the first unit I took, actually someone else had tried it out and it failed. And they had returned it to the shop and now the shop was trying to sell it to me. Uh, a lot of uh, shops do that. They they won't return it back to the manufacturer and complain about it. They just pass the buck on to you and see if you don't complain about it. And that is the reason why I am voicing out the problems that all of you will see because there are 8 billion people in this world. And if one manufacturer can con a million people by selling a defective product to them, nobody is going to complain and he is going to get away with it free of charge. All of you are going to end up paying the price for buying a defective product. Test it out yourself. Test out the three and a half inch external drive casing. Plug it into a USB 3 or USB C port to your, uh, to your PC or laptop. And try, test the reading, use crystal dismark to check the speed. 
try copying five gigabytes or 10 gigabytes of, of files across and see how long it takes. Then you will know whether you have invested in a fast system or not. So do subscribe because there are a lot more products that I'm going to review. Some of them are 40. Actually, I'm seeing a lot of 40 uh, products and that is why I'm doing these YouTube videos. And you benefit because you don't spend the money on ordering these 40 products. So take care. See you.